Come here. Oh. I promise I wouldn't do this. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the family. Welcome to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cutest DreamWorks characters. That's the Easter Bunny? Now somebody sees me. I mean, where were you about an hour ago, mate? For this list, we'll be looking at the most adorable animated characters from DreamWorks movies, including shorts. Who made you go, ah, the most? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, pretty much every animal in Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge. Oh, I can burp my ABCs! A, B, Z. Hammy! I just really need you to focus right now, okay? So yeah, Hammy's pretty cute if you think squirrels are. But it's definitely a little difficult to choose one character in this movie for our entry, given that the main cast is full of small, cuddly animals. Porcupines are cuddly, right? Okay, kids, dive in. There it is. Bark for breakfast. I want a donut! I want pizza! No, you don't. <sighs> Between RJ the raccoon, Vern the turtle, Stella the skunk, the opossums, and the porcupine triplets, Over the Hedge is chock full of furry and shelled creatures with big eyes and larger than life spirits scuttling about. Not if we work together. You see, you've got the food gathering skills, I've got the know how, and they have the food. How much food? Loads of food, heaps of food. Food out the wazoo! Admittedly, the voices of Bruce Willis, Steve Carell, and William Shatner give these characters an older feel, but animals are always cute, no matter their age. Right? This is the gateway to the good life. Really wish you would have told me that sooner. Yeah, well, that's bad communication. Also, something families do. So what do you say? You want to be part of it? Number nine, Sandy the Sandman, Rise of the Guardians. Whoever made the decision to not give the Sandman a voice knew what they were doing. It just makes him infinitely more endearing. Sandy, wake up! Hey, oh, anyone want to tell me why I'm here? Uh, it, that, that's not really helping, but, but thanks, little man. Like Jack Frost, Sandman is one of the more forgettable mythological protagonists of our childhood. Rise of the Guardians must know this too, because they definitely give Sandy his time to shine, literally, hence all the golden sand. And the tooth fairy? Hello, Jack. I've heard a lot about you. And your teeth. My, my what? Open up. Are they really as white as they say? Yes. <gasps> oh, they really do sparkle like freshly fallen snow. The tooth fairy's fluttering excitement easily makes her one of the sweetest characters. And the Easter bunny shrinking down to the real bunny size is incredibly precious. What happened to him? He used to be huge and cool. And now he's cute. Uh, oh, oh, it's good. Ah. Did you tell him to say that? That's it. Let's go. Me and you. Come on. Also, can we talk about how adorable Santa's elves are? Number eight, Gromit. Wallace and Gromit, the curse of the were-rabbit. Stop-motion animation is an art form worthy of all the praise. It's tedious, it's an insanely long process, and it takes an incredible level of dedication from all animators involved. This is just a reaction to that healthy veg diet you've got me on. It's the toxins coming out. <laughs> Silly old pooch. <laughs> With that said, it also produces some of the creepiest visuals known to children's media, which is why it's a little surprising to see how cute Gromit turned out. A brave and splendid marrow. We've all got a lot to thank you for. Uh, <laughs> Every dog has his day. We're not sure if it's his nose or ears or maybe the fact that he doesn't have a mouth, but he's the only clay character who doesn't give us the heebie-jeebies. Jeez! <laughs> it's me again! I'm back! Gromit! You clever mutt! Well done, old pal! <laughs> Anyone else get Snoopy vibes from Gromit? Number seven, Smidge, Trolls franchise. What do you say, Branch? Oh my god. Trolls may not be the DreamWorks franchise with the most depth, but it definitely has the cutest character designs which is an interesting reversal from what the word troll usually connotes, now that we think about it. Just dance, dance, dance. Either way, the most endearing of them all has to be Smidge, who's also the smallest of them all. She may be tiny, but she is by no means invisible. Yo, yo. 
just as unique as her voice, and we love her for it. Guy Diamond, what's wrong? I'm having a baby! Ah! We're on jumpsuit duty! I get to be a robot! I don't wanna be a big sister! Not to be dramatic, but we'd literally die for Smidge. Number six, Master Shifu, Kung Fu Panda franchise. Shifu proves that a character need not be young or mute to be adorable, so long as they're a small red panda in a robe. Here, look. No, I am forbidden to look upon. Blank. Don't be fooled by his cuddly exterior. Shifu will knock you out six ways from Sunday. Oh, you know this hole. Developed by Master Wuxi in the Third Dynasty, yes. Oh, then you must know what happens when I flex my pinky. <gasps> no, no, no. You know the hardest part of this? The hardest part is cleaning up afterwards. Unfortunately, the second an animal has bigger ears than their head, it's too late. We've already become enamored with them. Poe's character design may not be as dainty as Shifu's, but he seems just as soft and huggable. And it's really just a big teddy panda bear, even with all his rad martial arts skills. The Sacred Hall of Warriors! No way! Look at this place! <gasps> Master Flying Rhino's armor! With authentic battle damage! Number 5. Mort, Madagascar franchise. Small animated characters with big eyes are a surefire way to have us swooning. Add in Mort's little tooth, round ears, and childlike voice, and we're going to need a plushy stat. Aww, they are so you. cute oh, from a reasonable distance. The sweetest <laughs> little thing. <laughs> oh, I just want to dunk him in my coffee. Mouse lemurs are already super cute IRL, but Mort is on a whole other level. He's definitely a little strange, but you know what? We're willing to overlook it when it's all packaged in a body as adorable as his. <laughs> Immeasurable cuteness right there. Good to be back. I feel like a french fry. Woo! I'm okay! And with cuteness to spare. It's difficult to rival him on the lovable scale, but we've got to admit, the penguins are pretty endearing too. Especially the babies. We're making heart eyes right now. Number four, Puss in Boots, Shrek franchise. So, I have been thinking these soft paws, that when we go our separate ways, we can go our separate ways, together. All right, you know the deal. Puss in Boots has us all wrapped around his little paw, us and most of the characters in the Shrek universe, so this is a relatively unanimous vote here. Despite his proficient combat skills and flair for the dramatics, Puss is, at his core, still a widow kitty cat. She's got a new addiction for every day and night. She makes you take your clothes off and go dancing in the rain. And he seems to remind us of this every time we forget by being the cat embodiment of the pleading face emoji. Shrek! Oh, come on, donkey, look at him in his wee little boots. He stole our hearts in Shrek 2, so much so that he got his own spin-off, which got a sequel. You earned those boots. And the people know that you are San Ricardo's greatest hero. I did it for you, Mama. Look out for this furry feline in Puss in Boots The Last Wish, coming out later this year. Number 3. Belt. The Croods franchise. Rivaling Chunky the Death Cat in adorableness is Belt. As his name suggests, he helps keep guys' pants up, but he's also a great lookout and a valued companion. I don't even know you. Mm. I'm Guy. Guy. And this is Belt, cook, conversationalist, navigator. <laughs> also, keeps my pants up. <laughs> and he knows exactly when to provide the dun-dun-dun for a scene, so the music score doesn't have to. Let me clarify, Eep. The world is ending. What? I'm calling it... The end. Da, da, da. He's cheerful and helpful. Belt is a three-toed sloth with a high-pitched voice, large blue-green eyes, and the silliest personality. <laughs> Overall, he's just the sweetest little guy. So what's cuter than Belt, you ask? How about Baby Belt? The eyes get even bigger and his smile even more precious. Don't know Sunner tomorrow. I did find this little fellow. He's all alone, just like me. He's a good lookout. I'm thinking of calling him... <gasps> Number two, the baby albatross, Bilby. 
Bilby is without a doubt DreamWorks' most adorable short to date. The first character we're introduced to is the Bilby, the protagonist of this short film, who's already cuteness overload incarnate. His floppy ears, wide eyes, and twitching nose make for the sweetest face of innocence you've ever seen. That is, of course, until the abandoned baby albatross comes on the screen. The Bilby reveals that he's exactly like us, because he becomes the adoptive parent to this little ball of fluff, much to our relief. <laughs> As it turns out, real life baby albatrosses are ridiculously awe inducing, so we totally get the inspiration for this film. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions Theodore Templeton, the Boss Baby franchise. It's the tiny suit, isn't it? Now, before we begin. Yes, sir! Sure is! Affirmative! Jimbo, run some interference. Hey! Roddy, flushed away. He's just so squeaking cute. I was wondering if you do build a Jammy Dodger Mark II, you, um, you wouldn't happen to need a first mate, would you? Shrimp, Shark Tail. Shrimply adorable. I've been working a second shift at the factory to put food on the table, but all the love that I see in that little guy's face makes it worth it in the end. Turbo, Turbo. Who knew snails could be so endearing? Ryan Reynolds helps, we suppose. Turbo, hot on his tail, into the straightaway. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> and down the home stretch, the crowd goes wild. Go, Turbo! The neck and neck, gun, Turbo, Turbo! Everest humming, abominable. Abominable? More like abominadorable. <laughs> continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Toothless. How to Train Your Dragon franchise. The best part of the How to Train Your Dragon franchise has to be the characterization of the dragons. Okay, yes, we love the world building and the lore and the stunning animation. But the dragons are the Viking equivalent of house pets, and it's the best thing ever. Toothless, when he's not otherwise threatening enemies, is basically just a giant puppy. Huh. Toothless. I could have sworn you had <laughs> teeth. Or maybe more like a kitten with his love of fish. Either way, he's just this large, playful, lovable pal. His pupils dilate when he's happy, which is most of the time he's with Hiccup, but you can always tell by his toothless smile and roaring laughter. For one of the most dangerous dragons out there, Toothless is nothing short of delightful. Or should we say, deflightful. <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.